TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability. In this video, we're going to jump straight into testing Boolean expressions. The theory and background to Booleans is important and you need to understand this. This can be found on pages 55 and 56 of the Sense Programming Guide and is included in the description of the video below. Sense implements the three comparison operators using these blocks. And these are all located in the operators palette. Each of these blocks takes two operands, one in each of its two input boxes, and evaluates to one of Sense's Boolean values, represented by either true or false, thus forming a Boolean expression. You'll notice that every block that evaluates to a Boolean value is hexagonal in shape. You'll learn about other blocks of this kind later on. The operands can be numbers or strings typed directly into the input boxes, or variables dragged and dropped in from the variables palette. Now open a new project and immediately save this project in the Session 2 subfolder of the Sense Programming Guide folder as spg underscore project underscore 14 underscore sol. In this exercise, you'll simply be experimenting with some comparison blocks. All blocks in the scripting pane will be associated with the stage, so no sprites are involved. Drag an equals block from the comparison section of the operator's palette to the scripting pane and set both of its input values to two. Create a new variable, result, making sure its variable watcher appears on the stage. Now we know that two does equal two, so its result should be evaluated to true. We can set the variable's value to the result of the evaluation of 2 equals 2 by placing the 2 equals 2 block into the second input box of the set block, like this. Now when we run our set block, we see that result is shown as having the value true, that is the string true. As variables can only hold numbers or strings, sense has converted the Boolean result of evaluating the block 2 equals 2 to its string equivalent. To describe this, we say that the block 2 equals 2 evaluates to true. On page 58 of the Sense Programming Guide is a table. You'll be able to find the values to place in the final column of the table by placing blocks shown in the table into the scripting pane and double-clicking on them. If you right-click on a comparison block in the scripting pane, you can change its operator, for example, changing the less than to equals or greater than. I'll demonstrate the first couple of expressions, but please pause the video and then go ahead and do the rest for yourself and complete the table. So here's the completed table for you to compare your results with. Now we're going to amend the stack and experiment with letters, initially single alphabetic characters. Let's try Now you've seen these results, can you figure out how these letters are compared in sense? So we can see that the comparison blocks equals, greater than and less than can be used with letters based on the usual alphabetic ordering. 
the letter A comes before the letter C in the alphabet. So sense considers the string A to be less than the string C. Equivalently, C is greater than A. Sense considers lowercase letters to come after uppercase letters. So, for example, the string A is greater than the string capital A. Now we'll experiment with strings of more than one letter. And again, how is sense deriving these results from these comparisons? Have a think about that. So, comparison blocks can be used to compare strings of alphabetic characters based on the usual dictionary ordering. The first letter in each string is compared, then, if they are the same, the second letter in each string is compared, and then the third, and so on until all the letters are compared. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.